Well, hello, my busy bees. Today is the day we are going to try to cut the stump hive out. Um, I think I've got everything I need. I've got my nuke box here. I've got some frames with honey. I've got a frame that is just empty comb so that the queen can get to laying immediately. There's a little bit of nectar on this side. Uh, this is also another frame of honey. And then I've got a frame of pollen. And then I've got just a bare frame um, on the off chance that I'm able to save some of their comb. I can tie it into this frame. I've got a queen clip for when we see our queen. I've got a pollen patty. So all I need to do now is round up my husband and his chainsaw. So I'll see y'all at the bee yard. Do what? Maybe we can cut, cut down this way, this way, and then, and then down, down that way. Yeah. I don't know how much comb is in there. I don't know if we're going to be able to save it. It's probably sugar. It's probably sugar. So you just want to set it in this nuke? Alright. I'm going to go ahead and lay it down. You can start cutting.
try to find the queen. That should mostly be honey. Hold on, let me get my... You got the... This one? Yep. Any coming out that way? See if I can get these guys to come out onto some cone. I think we're going to have to open up the whole thing. She's just hiding somewhere.
need to put some more fuel on it. crack somewhere. <laughs> she ain't gonna come out till we make her. I have a hole to see what's doing. There's so many little holes she could be in. some more of this comb. Put some smoke in that crack right there. Anywhere. They're coinless. Well, that's a bummer.
pointless. Okay. Well, um. Smoke them all out till the tree stump in the back of the south and all that. Pretty much. Yeah, they'll they'll drift to other hives. They're they're pointless. There's a chance I can buy a queen. So you'd have to get it here today, there. No, they, I mean, they've been queenless for a while. They could go a little longer without a queen. Um, I'll get online, see if I can get a queen here. Let them drift into that nuke. If you've got two friends of honey in there, they should be okay, huh? Oh yeah, they'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, they're not going to get a queen here. Possibly. I'm going to let them come into this. Turn it around so that entrance is roughly in the same spot. And I'll see if I can get a queen here for him. So I was gonna shake these guys out because we decided there was no queen in this hive. And I lifted the lid of the nuke box and she was on the lid. <laughs> Somehow I missed her. There she is. So the stump hive was not queenless. We have a queen right here. I'm gonna get her back in there cause they're looking for her already. I cannot believe that. I can't believe that. I'm gonna put her right here because that's where that empty comb is. There she goes, down in the hive. Ha! We did have a queen. How come there was no brood though? Hmm.
great. We got the stump hive moved. So about halfway through the process, um, I thought we were, it was queenless. There was no brood in any of the comb and we had spent several minutes looking for the queen and just couldn't find her anywhere. Um, so I'd pretty much given up on it. And, you know, I hopped online to see if I could purchase a queen. Uh, you can't purchase a queen yet. Not about till the middle of April is the, the soonest I could get a queen here. So I gave up. I decided I was going to shake the bees out in front of a, a weak colony that I have. And I took the lid off and the queen was right there on the lid with about six attendants. <laughs> Just incredible. She, she's a tiny little queen. That I, I guess that's why I missed her. Um, she must have been on a piece of comb that I shook into the box. But she's there. Um, I'm going to keep a close eye on them. I know that they're going to need some numbers because there's a very small amount of bees in there. There might be, I don't know, like maybe two cups of bees in there. So I'm going to let them settle for a little while, and then I'm probably going to boost them with a frame of bees and brood from another colony. Um, or maybe just a frame of brood from another colony. I don't know yet. But I can't do that until we are having warm nights because they certainly don't have enough bees to keep very much brood alive. So they're moved. They're tiny. Now it's just a matter of trying to help them grow and, uh, you know, become a, a successful colony. Um, I really hope to see that queen laying pretty soon because no kidding, I didn't see a ounce of brood in the stump when we were pulling all those, all that comb out. So I'm going to give them a week, let them get settled. Then I'll look in there and see if that queen has started laying. And then I might, uh, shake some nurse bees in front of the hive so that they can crawl in and, and boost the hive that way. Um. I think that's the plan for now. So thanks for following the stump hive. They're no longer a stump hive. They're a, a new hive. But, you know, tomato, tomato. Bye.